Welcome back. It's time for you to be an artist, a designer, and have a little fun at the same time. For this week's Made in Our Hometown, News Channel 9's Lauren St. Germain shows us silk art and how you can get your creative juices flowing. It's a new twist on a 2,000-year-old Turkish technique called Ebru, better known as water marbling. Susan Matskin says she became obsessed after trying it just once, and now she's brought it to Chattanooga so more people can join the fun. For Susan, her trip to Destin was destiny. We were at a craft show and somebody was doing the same exact thing. It's called water marbling. She dyed a scarf and instantly became hooked. With Valerie and Gary as mentors, her own version, Silk Art, was born. I was motivated because of my son um, being in high school and not being able to get a job paying more than minimum wage. I, I thought, he's always talked about an interest in business. I thought this would teach him kind of from the ground up what it takes. So Susan made her son Josh her business partner. A combination of natural silk dyes and a secret natural organic plant compound turns a plain white silk scarf into a wearable fashion accessory. You are your own creative designer. So clearly, I had to give it a try. Now, full disclosure, my artistic ability is essentially non-existent. I chose purple, blue, and yellow, so let's see how this goes. The secret combination in this tray makes the dye float and then adhere to the silk. You're going to squeeze and it's going to expand. Go ahead. Good. And, you know, do like two or three and you're going to work your way down the whole tray. You can be very strategic or just go crazy. Okay, how about some blue? And remember, anything that doesn't have a color is going to be white. And the final color, yellow. Now, the real fun begins. So this is the secret stick. Ooh, very nice. It's going to make the magic happen. <laughs> the magic. So you're going to swirl however you are feeling it. You know, there are several different techniques that we use to um, make designs. The one that you're using is the swirling technique. It's the, the basic water marbling technique. Straight lines back and forth will get you a different design. You can also use this rake to get a completely different look. You can do no wrong. <laughs> Who doesn't like to hear that? Barely five minutes later and I'm done and happy with my pattern. So we grab the scarf. Make sure it's taut to pull it. Okay. And we're going to just go straight in and don't let go. Then press down lightly, making sure we didn't miss any of the scarf. I'm gonna slide it off and I'm gonna rinse it in cold water. I have a bucket of just room temperature water right here. Okay. And ta-da. What do you think? Even someone without art skills <laughs> can do this. Look at that. How awesome is that? Oh. <laughs> Once you're done, just let it drip dry, then iron the scarf on the lowest silk setting with steam, and voila, you have your own custom designed scarf. From Made in Our Hometown, Lauren St. Germain, News Channel 9. That is really cool. I know, folks, she just <laughs> loves it. She's just sitting really there going, cool. ah, you do that. I couldn't do that right there with Lauren. Right now, Susan sets up at the Chattanooga Market and is also available for parties. For more information, just go to our website, newschannel9.com slash made in our hometown.